Hello friends, it's Brandy with Hip Kit Club. Today I'm working on a brand new layout using the beautiful July 2024 kits. I really love this scalloped fringe die and I wanted to incorporate it in a big way onto this layout. So I just cut a circle in the middle of a piece of white cardstock and I'm using the negative from that circle to line all of my scallops up with. Now I will tell you that it would have been much simpler to do this on a square piece that was larger that that's larger than the circle in my cardstock but I, for whatever reason, decided that I wasn't going to use this, <laughs> this circle for anything else, so I may as well use it to glue my strips down with. Now, it did take two sheets of the cardstock to be able to get enough scallops to completely fill that circle up. Now, I'm going to bring in some mixed media, and it's just light mixed media. I'm not going super crazy with it, but I this idea hit me when, as I was looking at this cut file, which is precious, by the way, and I just had to try it. I couldn't get it out of my head, so this is what we're going with. This is the stencil that comes in the color kit this month also. And I knew that as I was, um, as I wet the color and I'm tapping it down on the page, that it was going to bleed underneath the stencil just a little bit. And I'm okay with that. I knew it was going to happen, so it wasn't a surprise, but the end result is subtle but it's there and it and it's it adds something <laughs> just that extra something <laughs> that that wouldn't have been as cute without the stencil so see you can kind of see it there you can see the swirls it's so cute well now i did shrink this cut file down to six inches tall and I, because of the way that I did my the mixed media onto the negative pieces of that stencil, I just figured it would be easier to go ahead and cut out the silhouette. And I just used um, the contouring tool and Cricut Design Space for that. And then I layered the cut file on top of that. And now I'm just putting it together like a puzzle. I've never backed a cut file or put a cut file together like this, but I enjoyed this process and it was so easy that I may incorporate that in the future with other, I mean, it's just, this was so much easier than um, backing the cut file the traditional way. So <laughs> this might be my go-to method from now on. I went ahead and finished that up, up off camera and when I was pulling it off of my mat, I accidentally tore my umbrella off, but it's okay because it's going to be a pretty easy fix. But I grabbed my um, glossy accents and I decided to just go over the whole entire glass portion of this cut file with the glossy accents just to, I mean, for the obvious reason, to make it look like it's glass. And I love the way that turned out, but I will tell you, um, my, I went ahead and decided to hit it just a little bit with a, um, oh gosh, my heating tool. And when I did that, it, it put a ripple effect in the glossy accents, but I'm not mad about it. <laughs> it looks fine in the end, but I was surprised. I didn't really expect that. So I'm gonna go, I went ahead and did my umbrella the same way that I did the um, 
the colored pieces in the glass and instead of doing backing the flower portion I decided to just fussy cut one of these out and add that it brings a little um, a little bit of a deeper orange color to the cut file and I really love the way this looks so I'm gonna take some time to get that cut up and and now I'm just distressing the edges and we're gonna attach that to to the flower portion of this cut file. Now it's time to start embellishing. So I'm just taking my paper punch and punching out two of these. And I think they're actually quite lovely embellishments to add to, to, add to your pages. And it's a great way to stretch your kit also. And I wanted to add a border page around. So I chose a piece of pattern paper and I'm trimming all of that out. I didn't want to lose the back side of this pattern paper because I love it so much. Now I want to use this big title piece here. And I go into this knowing that I want that to be my title piece, but you'll see like I, I do end up, I don't, I can't remember if I show you on the video or not. I don't, I think I cut it out, but I do end up trying to add another title with, with those gorgeous blue chipboard letters, but it, I couldn't make it work. So I just am going with Hello Summer here. I absolutely had to bring in those, two of those wooden pieces. I'm going to stick with kind of a circle theme, I suppose, on here. So I'm pulling out some other circles. That little striped piece right there perfectly mimics what I what I have going on in the cut file. That was a happy accident. So I was really excited to see that. Now I was going to use those vellum pieces over there to the left of the page, but and I really needed a smaller cluster so the stickers worked out perfectly. I wanted florals there. I knew it, but I just didn't have enough room to play with these larger, with the larger vellum pieces. So the stickers were an excellent solution, and I'm kind of sad that I'm almost out of them because they're my favorite stickers ever. I think they're beautiful. I grabbed this puffy, circle puffy sticker that says Summer Vibes, and I really love the way that it looks sitting diagonally from my circle at the bottom of my cup that says cool. Now I really need to get something to the right of my photo and that's where I was kind of trying my title out and I really had to resist the urge because I've done this so many times on when I do circle layouts. I, I had to resist the urge to um, make the title in a circle that outlines the <laughs> my circle. <laughs> so I think I worked it out just fine. I basically just denied myself the opportunity to do that. <laughs> More words. I didn't have enough words on this page yet, so let's cool off. Worked nicely. I do go ahead and bring in a vellum piece there because I feel like I need something an extra something that's kind of frilly so I bring that in and that wraps this layout up off camera I'm gonna do some hand stitching around the edge of my circle and add a little bit of journaling in those journaling spots if you have any questions about the products or the process leave me a comment and I'll be sure to respond also don't forget to like and subscribe thank you all so much I hope you have a lovely crafty day Bye-bye.